Welcome to Picture Healer channel. The Chinese New Year is February 10th this year, and many people want to know how to set up the feng shui for the Year of Dragon. I have many videos in this channel about the flying star analysis for 2024. Today I'm going to go over the essential feng shui cures to enhance the finance, the intelligence and wisdom, and also love relationships. Another side of the feng shui is to control and protect from negative energy. So that's a star two and five, the five yellow and two black star, and also the sansa. And we'll also talk about the use of crystals in feng shui. Now let's look at the flying star chart for 2024, year of the dragon. So on the top, we have 2024 year of dragon stars, and uh, the button number is the period 9 star. The number one lucky direction this year is the southwest, because we have number 9 star, that's a very auspicious star in period 9. This is the best direction to enhance financial luck. In feng shui, water is related to money, so the southwest is the best direction to have a fish tank or a fountain. And for the fish tank, you can add some red fishes. It really doesn't matter how many fishes. You just need to make sure the water is clean and the fishes are healthy all the time. Another way to enhance financial luck is to set up a money altar. And that can usually include some type of treasure chest and a coin bank. You can have collection of items that represent wealth. It can be crystals, money toad, money god, or just the coins. And set it up in the southwest. It can be in the southwest direction of the whole floor plan or the southwest of the living room, or even just southwest of your office desk. Next one is about intelligence, talent, wisdom, and promotion. And the direction related to that is the uh, northwest. That's a star four and one. The four one combination brings intelligence, fame, and even social luck or relationship luck. The 4-1 combination is also related to helpful people and the mentor luck. The lucky item you can display here include the traditional Chinese ink brush or the Wenchang Pagoda or the lucky bamboo. Another lucky item is a crystal. Include the clear quartz, the purple amethyst, and blue or green color crystals. In feng shui, we look at crystals by color in general. The clear crystal is related to purifying and the clarity. Purple crystal is related to wisdom. The blue and green color crystals are related to business luck and helpful people. The green and yellow color crystals are related to finance. If you want to increase the chance of winning lottery, you can wear yellow crystals. The green crystal is more related to money coming from your regular job. The orange and brown color are more related to health and the balance. And the red color is related to energy and love. And the pink color is also related to relationship and the social life. So that's how we pick crystals to bring good luck in feng shui. You can display crystals as a statue at home, or you can wear crystals as jewelry or just as a lucky charm or keychain so you can carry around with you. The star one is also an intelligence star, and this year is in the east. So in the east direction, we can also display the same thing as the northwest. We can add a Chinese ink brush. We can add the lucky bamboo, purple or clear crystal, or blue green crystals. We can also find this intelligence direction 
or we call it the Wenchang direction based on your house direction. Here is a list of different house directions. For example, if your house is facing east, that usually means your main entrance is at the east direction. Then your lucky intelligence direction is southwest. And you can set up your study room, your office, or set up library there, or add some enhancers such as a lucky bamboo and a crystals there. And if your house is facing west, the lucky intelligence direction is northwest. So this is another way to check your lucky intelligence direction. And if you are a student, this is a very important direction for you. And it's also good for promotion and fame. So the third topic is about the relationships and the romance. And we also have a chart here. And there are two ways to look at this. One is based on the year, the earthly branch of this year. The 2024 is the Jia Chen year. Chen means the dragon. So in the dragon year, the lucky relationship direction is the west. And the way to enhance your love relationship is to add flowers in this direction. So you can add a red, pink, or purple color flowers in the west direction, or add some pink crystals in the west. And another way to look at this chart is by your birth year. And since these 12 earthly branches are related to the 12 animal signs, so if you know your animal sign, you will find the direction. For example, the first one, the Shen Zi Chen, that's a monkey, rat, and dragon. If you are one of those three signs, your lucky relationship direction is uh, west. And you can enhance it with flowers and crystals. So you have more than one way to find your lucky direction for relationship and also for the intelligence. Now we'll look at the negative energy of this year. The first one is uh, Sansa, the three killings. And in 2024, year of dragon, the Sansa direction is in the south. And one popular feng shui cure here is the Pi Xiu, Qi Lin, and Fu Dog. They can bring protection and reduce the negative energy. And because of the star seven, we can add a salt water cure or a black obsidian crystal. Or you can display jade sculpture or art as protection. And for the negative energy, we have to look at the star 2 and the star 5. The number 2 is the illness star. And the number 5, the 5 yellow, is related to misfortune. And this year, there's a 5-2 combination in the West. So the best feng shui cure is a metal object such as a metal hulu, metal pisho, or metal qilin. Or we can use salt water cure, black obsidian crystal, jade, just like the feng shui cures for sansa in the south. So make sure we have one of these feng shui cures first before we add the flowers in the west direction to bring relationship luck. The other two directions similar to the two and five in the west is uh, southeast and uh, north. The southeast we have two and eight, and uh, it's also the direction of Tai Shui. So we can add the metal to reduce these two stars or use any health enhancers such as uh, Hulu or the turtle. Another direction is the north. It has star five and eight. We can also add the same feng shui cures. Anything metal, pisho, chilin, black crystals, or salt water cure. Some people don't like to use the salt water cure because it can become messy. After a while, the salt crystal will overflow. 
and if you have kids or pets, that can be a problem. So instead of the salt water cure, you can just add a black crystal, such as a black obsidian. Because the black is the color of water in the five element, so it has a similar function to the salt water cure. For the east and northeast, you can also use water element, such as a salt water cure or black crystals. And the east, you can also add the wood element to reduce the one and seven stars. And in the center, we have three and nine stars. We can add fire to strengthen the lucky star number nine. So that can be color of red, orange, purple, or a candle or a lighting. So that's everything you need to know to set up Feng Shui for the 2024 Year of the Dragon. You don't have to set up in every direction. You can pick and choose and just set it up according to your purpose and what you like to achieve this year. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it's helpful and see you next week.